It's been three years since director Zhang Yimou's last commercial work, The Flowers of War, and now the director is putting his attention where tradition is. With Peking Opera, You and Me, the director is telling a story that is quintessentially Chinese, both in content and aesthetics. A table and two chairs. It's a reductionist and symbolically Chinese approach to the notion of the family. You and Me is a story of filial love inspired by an old royal tale of Chinese history about a king who was caught in a political conspiracy stirred up by his mother. He punishes her by keeping her in jail for years, but comes to terms with his mother at the end. The chairs and table shrink and enlarge into the set, sometimes taking on the form of a veranda, sometimes becoming the frame of the palace. It ingeniously but sensibly accommodates the hero's inner journey of making peace with an enemy with whom he shares not only the same roof but the same blood. The aesthetic value of Peking Opera lies in its symbolization and conceptualization. You don't need to actually travel the world to depict a journey, and you don't need thousands of people to create an army. I hope that you and me will present such an aesthetic to the public. And audiences have been quick in taking a liking to Emo's aesthetics and had been thrilled to see the director himself sitting among them on opening night. I'm very pleased with Yimou's reductionist approach to stage design and direction. And of course, I'm also here to see the stars of Peking Opera because it's an art of the Qiar or personalities. Three generations of legendary masters of Peking Opera have all united on stage at the NCPA. Mr. Shang Changrong, who plays the main character, the king, is one of the most celebrated Peking Opera artists today. He carries off the Jin or the primary painted face role in UME with impeccable precision and fervor. In directing the opera, Imo emphasized one word, Qing, which is an opera style that will be able to touch the audience, letting out their emotions and passions, and you can't go wrong with that. What director Imo humbly describes as an homage to Peking opera is in fact something he knows too well, the art of simplicity and universality. It was still um, a very familiar and uh, powerful theme that we could appreciate and take forward and say that this was a worthwhile experience. If staging Puccini's opera Turando inside the Forbidden City, where the story actually takes place, brings the opera home to China, Zhang Yimou's study of you and me is a historic milestone that will put Peking opera on the world map again. Julian Wacken, CCTV.